Jacob from Graham. Say what's up, America? I think you should know me, right? On the half a replica. Okay, guys. So today I'm going to be showing you something fun. And by fun, I mean like fun troll replays, you know. The 2v2 mode is back. So, um, me and my brother, Man Bro Son, were doing troll battles with this deck. If you want to copy it and play with your friends or something. This is it, and then his deck is this. You wanna look at it? Um. So what, I'm gonna show you four replays. So the first one is uh, this one. So we were against Jonah and Mateo. So basically, the strategy is you throw all your goblin barrels when they use something that costs a lot. So I'm going to put these on two times speed until it gets to the goblin barrel part. So basically we just don't put anything down because we have to wait for the, them to use something that is that costs a lot. So once they put down the giant, I think over, yeah, they put down the giant. And then we just send tons and tons of goblin barrels. So now, if you pause, you can just see. Let's go half speed. Look at all of the goblins. It just destroys their king tower. So these people, they think like we're noobs and that we're not putting down any cards. And they just got our tower in the first part of the game. And, okay, so the next replay is versus, it's lagging a little bit, but we were against Rio Furbian, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that. So, basically, for this game, we started out with that, and then... I missed that, so he's going to have to freeze. I'll put our hand here so that you can see it better. And so we're just waiting now. And they put down Baby Dragon Rage. And then, okay, so let's just try to count the goblins that are there right now. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 goblins there, and that's with, like, oh my gosh, did I glitch the game? It's not letting me unpause. Okay, well, I will restart the game. And, so... Here, I'm going to look at the next replay, and this replay was, so right here, we were against Yas and George, or is it Jorge or something? So, they put down double Valkyrie, double Wizard, so we arrow and poison that, and then they put down a Hog Rider. So now, this is about where it is. Oh, not exactly, so here's the hand. Yeah, so we're, we already have the Goblin Barrel there, we're just... Waiting for them to put down something that costs a lot. So when they put down that, we figured that would be enough. And this one, I'm going to slow it down to 
one out of speed because we actually almost lost. And if you see right here, they tornadoed it with with 56 health left on the tower. But our clones somehow stayed alive for the last part of the game. I think it was because we were, um, the game was almost over and it was like one hit and the hit was on the way. Just had to register it. And you can see like there's like 20 goblins there. And this strategy that actually worked like four times in a row. And earlier it worked more. And for this one, I'm just going to leave it on one time speed. <clears throat> and we're just going to watch this one. So, we start with the goblin, double goblins. And they put down a lava hound and a gold. And then, we didn't worry about defending it, because it's okay if we lost the tower. Now, I had to wait with the arrows until the Lava Hound and the, um, well, until the Lava Hound died, because then it wouldn't get the Lava Pups. So... Because there's a skeleton army there, and I had to wait there with the lava so the, lo the lava hound would explode. So right now, he just froze our tower with a wizard there, and that actually does a lot of damage. But we don't really care about damage on our towers. And right now, if you see our hands, we have the... We both have the goblin barrel, the mirror, and the clown. That's what you need to do it. So... When they put down these balloons, and they put down a lava hound, so this is when you're so, when you do it. When they put down like a big card like the lava hound, and look, they poisoned it. And see, I don't really get that. If you can see there, we're cloning the goblins right in the poison, but they that they okay. They died. But there's just so many goblins that you, you just, you can't do it. It's like, you, you just can't defend unless you have arrows and like a fireball or something. So, there's also another replay that I would like to show you if I can find it. I wasn't planning on showing it, but... So, this was all us battling because um, we were trying to battle and trying to get the Goblin Barrel strategy to work. So, I was with uh, Jonesi. Um, I don't know. I think this is it. Yeah, actually I was with Jado Sue, someone else from our clan. So, I'm going to put this one at four times speed. And... This replay, if I'm correct, it was really close. Actually, I'm going to put it at one time speed. But, <clears throat> this replay, you'll see that it was really close. If this was the right replay. But if it wasn't the right replay, then you'll just get to see us win. So, it'll be fine. So, right here, the musketeer almost gets the tower, but locks onto the barbarians instead. So, I put down a balloon, but he counters me with all the buildings that they have, if you saw. They had tons of buildings, so. Then they put down a golem. See, if I was playing with my brother here, this was the time we would have put down the goblin barrels. But, they weren't, I wasn't playing with my brother for this one. So, we lost their tower here, but that's fine because their tower is at 296 health. So, right here I'm just going to put a goblin barrel and try to get it lower. And I got like a couple, st I one stab off, 
now we have a golem, we have a dark goblin, we have some minions, so it's looking like we're going to get this tower. So I just did this for fun. I put down, it wasn't, I knew it wasn't going to work, but I put down goblin gang, mirrored goblin gang, and then I cloned the goblin gang. It made a lot of goblins, and it, it looked cool, but they just poisoned it, and it all died. So, right here, I'm just going to tell you about a different battle that I did with my other brother. So, basically, we had a skeleton army. So, we, we both had skeleton army, mirror and clone. So, we both put down skeleton army at the same time. And then we both mirrored it, and then we both cloned it, and it looked super cool. But, then they logged it. I think this is where we won. Yeah. So it wasn't that close of a game, but their tower was at 657. So it was kind of close, since we were in overtime. But there was another game, I don't know what it was. I'm not going to spend time looking for it. But, so, it was where, oh, wait, that was it, I think. Hold on, I'll just watch this one in four times speed. We'll just watch it in four times speed. But I think we won with our tower being at eight health, if I'm correct. So right here you see I'm playing with Joe Nessie. And you can see our hands. I was playing with the all goblin deck with the balloons. Not all goblins, but it was meant for the goblin barrel. And if the goblin barrels didn't work, then we had balloons. So, he puts down a lava hound. Graveyard. Minions counter that well. But, cheer. Okay, so he's definitely going to get that tower. But, look at this. Tower's at 8 health. The wizard shot was almost there, and we won. That was one of the closest games I've seen in like a while. Then there was that other game where I got a three. I got so we it was overtime and we each killed the tower at the exact same time and then it went to overtime and we just tied. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the troll replay video and I'll see you in the next. One.